Hey guys, Max here, and Apple's WWDC keynote is tomorrow, so here's everything to expect and how to watch the virtual keynote streamed from Apple Park. Also, quick side note, I'm gonna be dropping a couple of videos this week about what happens at WWDC, so if that's something that interests you, subscribe below if you're not already, and let's talk about what to expect. What's exciting about this year's keynote is that we haven't had a ton of information leak from Apple themselves about what's coming and what we should expect this year. What is pretty much 100% is that we're going to be seeing new operating systems for all of their product categories. So we should be seeing iOS 15, iPadOS 15, macOS 12, tvOS 15, watchOS 8, and even a potential home OS, which showed up in a job listing a couple days ago, which would replace tvOS and HomePod OS as a sort of overarching operating system for all of the home products in Apple's family. Hardware-wise, some people like credible leaker John Prosser have said that they are going into WWDC expecting basically 100% that MacBook Pro, a new redesigned MacBook Pro, is coming. He tweeted a few weeks ago that he can confirm 100% that a new MacBook Pro is coming, but others say not to get your hopes up. The reason that a MacBook Pro would make so much sense at this event is because one year ago, Apple announced their transition was beginning to their own Apple Silicon in their Macs. So this would make sense as sort of a halfway point between the beginning of the transition and the end of the transition to announce a lineup of all new MacBook Pros. These MacBook Pros could bring breakthrough features like the M1X chip, which is the next step in their transition to Apple Silicon. It could bring more ports like HDMI, SD card, and uh, maybe even USB, but most likely a MagSafe port. It could also bring higher spec options, so stuff like 64 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. It could also bring a larger battery with a leaked 8,693 milliamp hour battery size. And a 16 inch MacBook Pro was filed a couple days ago in a Chinese regulatory database, so that that does tell us that that might be coming pretty soon. Hard to know with all of this conflicting messaging, but it'll be interesting to see how Apple decides to pull this off tomorrow. So in iOS 15, we're supposed to see new messages and new notification stuff. So tons of dub dub teasers have been based around iMessage. So it's quite likely that we'll see some huge changes to iMessage. It will be interesting to see. And apparently there might be something coming to notifications like time periods when they're muted or something like that, which has been reported by a couple sources. So that will be interesting to see as well. In terms of iPadOS, a big hope for a lot of people is pro apps, but that's becoming more and more unlikely. So Final Cut Pro, Xcode, stuff like that coming to the iPad Pro is becoming less and less likely because people are realizing that'll make Mac sales drop and stuff like that, which is something that Apple probably does not want to see happen. These apps would take full advantage of that M1 chip, but it doesn't look like Apple is going to be doing that this year. More widget and home screen improvements may also be coming, but again, not much to say on the iPadOS side. For everything else, we basically have no information on any of the other operating systems. So a couple of wild cards or maybe a preview of some AR, VR, augmented reality platform, something like that to uh, pave the way for AR, VR headset coming soon. I don't know about that, but I have seen that rumor flying around a little bit. Apple Glass or something like that as well, but that's very unlikely again. Some say we also may see another Mac apart from the MacBook Pro, which would be also interesting to see, but I don't know what I think about that. If you want to see which of these rumors and leaks are confirmed and which of them aren't, watch the keynote tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and 10.30 p.m. Indian on Apple's website or on YouTube Live. See you then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.